हेलो फ्रेंड्स द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द मॉस कैपेसिटर इज द वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पेस चार्ज डेंसिटी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ सरफेस पोटेंशियल हियर वी विल बी कंसिडरिंग अ मॉस कैपेसिटर व्हिच इज हैविंग पी सबस्टेट दैट इज मॉस कैपेसिटर विद पी टाइप सबस्टेट दिस इज द ऑक्साइड लेयर ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज द मेटल गेट दिस इज द गेट टर्मिनल so i will see the variation of the charge in this region this is nothing but depletion region i'll be considering the charge at oxide and semiconductor interface in this region fine in mos capacitor if you remember uh, there are three modes of operation called accumulation mode depletion mode and inversion mode so we will start with the accumulation mode in a mos capacitor with p substrate for this to work in depletion mode the gate voltage is made negative like this when this voltage is negative here when gate voltage is negative so there is accumulation of negative charge on this gate metal that is gate terminal or you can say metal gate so when there is negative charge accumulation of negative charge on the gate metal it will induce an electric field which will be directed towards this negative charge like this so when le when electric field is directed towards the negative charge it will attract the holes here and there will be accumulation of the holes just below the oxide layer at the metal semiconductor interface uh, oxide semiconductor interface this mode of operation is called accumulation i have already explained you can uh, refer my previous videos so uh, when i give the negative potential there is accumulation of holes at the interface between oxide and semiconductor so that is known as accumulation mode so let us come to this side now that is band diagram in band diagram this is the case when there is no uh, interconnect uh, there is no connectivity between the metal oxide and surface that is semiconductor this is called equilibrium state in equilibrium state we are assuming the uh, work function of the metal side is same as the work function of semiconductor side for mos capacitor work function is the energy required to move an electron from fermi level to the conduction band of oxide this is what we assume otherwise work function is basically energy required to move an electron from fermi level to the surface to the vacuum level but for mos capacitor we don't define the work function as energy required to move the electron from fermi level to the vacuum rather we'll be assuming this is my assumption the work function i'm defining for mos capacitor is the energy required to move the electron from the fermi level on metal side m stands for metal o stands for oxide s stands for semiconductor so this much is the energy required ideally i will be assuming the same level of energy required on semiconductor uh, semiconductor side to move the electron from the fermi level of semiconductor to the conduction band of oxide why are we considering like this reason being when i have the layers like this metal oxide and uh, semiconductor so whenever there is potential applied across this so what is the possibility that a hole or electron may be moving from metal to oxide and then maybe oxide to semiconductor or vice versa from semiconductor to oxide or oxide to metal so for movement of these electrons so from conduction from the semiconductor where are the electrons in semiconductor in the conduction band from conduction band it may be moving to oxide so we will see uh, i am assuming fermi level here so work function is defined for oxide uh, that is the energy required for movement of electron from substrate to oxide or metal to oxide so that is why we are taking conduction band why because electrons can move only in conduction band in oxide as well just like semiconductors but in case of semiconductors basically the band gap is very high that is of order of 9.1 or 9.3 electron volt fine so here in accumulation mode what will happen when i'm giving negative potential to the gate terminal it will increase the energy of the electrons in the gate i repeat when you give negative and potential to the gate terminal it will increase energy of the electrons why because there is there will be force of repulsion uh, repulsion in electrons so those will be gaining more energy and when there is increase in energy so this fermi level will shift upward by on metal side by how much level by 
a level that is equal to q into for uh, that is gate voltage right by that much level this uh, energy function cannot this uh, uh, work function cannot change therefore this end of the energy band will shift upward like this and there is bending in the energy band at the oxide on this side nothing will change on this side energy of the electron has changed so fermi level has shifted upward from which state from equilibrium state fine because of this bending well, let us see what will happen on this side since it has shifted upward there is accumulation of holes here and electric field is induced in the in, in the oxide so that direction of electric field is like this this is at lower potential this is at higher potential so electric field is always directed from lower potential to higher potential so electric field is directed like this inside the so this uh, in case of uh, your uh, um, oxide it will be directed like this from this side to this high, lower energy level to higher energy level i'll say from positive to negative from positive to negative so when you have holes gathered here so in this region when you increase the concentration of holes in the region so so your valence band will shift upward closer to the fermi level reason being because if if the fermi level moves closer to the valence band or when valence band moves closer to the fermi level there will be accumulation of holes this similar band is observed in intrinsic fermi level like this and in lowest level of the conduction band so that is how it bends like this it bends upward i have already explained that in case of accumulation mode of mos capacitor let us see what will happen here when you have uh, this when you have the shifting of this level of energy that is intrinsic level in this intrinsic fermi level so this is known as the surface potential but potential is in volts so multiplied by q it becomes voltage so potential here is shifted upward remember when fermi level bends upward potential the fermi your surface potential is assumed to be negative so it is negative now let us see from the diagram this is the charge distribution in the mos capacitor charge distribution where charge distribution in this region that is depletion region so it is positive here charge is positive number one number two what is the surface potential you are, you are applying negative gate voltage surface potential here is negative surface potential this x axis is surface potential in volts so surface potential is less than zero for this region so when surface potential is negative that is this region your mos capacitor is working in accumulation mode and the concentration at the surface is like this you have more negative voltage applied here more will be the charge carriers so this is less than zero means more negative voltage more concentration of the holes these are holes basically here it will be holes fine now let us take the next case when i make it positive when gate voltage is made positive the gate terminal the gate metal will acquire positive charge this positive charge will induce an electric field in downward direction like this so this will repel away this positive charge will repel away holes from this region and there is formation of depletion layer here in the region here our depletion layer will be formed holes will be moved out of this region that is why we call it depletion region so because of that now you can see when you give positive potential to the gate metal the fermi level will shift downward why because energy of the electrons will be reduced in the metal when you apply positive potential to it so fermi level new location of the fermi level will be below the the thermal equilibrium level it will be shifted downward and accordingly there will be shifting of the uh, band like this in the oxide reason being because your uh, work function will not change work function will remain same so if you, if energy level has shifted downward like this if it has shifted downward accordingly this conduction band on this side will shift downward and again 
we can see since holes are depleted in this region, so near the um, oxide semiconductor interface, reduction in holes means your valence band will move away from the Fermi level. Why? Because when valence band move away the Fermi level, the concentration of holes reduces. When, when valence band move closer to the Fermi level, concentration of holes increases and similar band is observed in case of your intrinsic Fermi level and conduction band. So again, this shift of the Fermi level is nothing but Q into phi s. Phi s is nothing but surface potential here. So when you are giving positive potential, Fermi levels are, at, are bending downward on the metal oxide, sorry, semiconductor oxide interface. Let us see on this side. When phi s is, please see it carefully. This is intrinsic Fermi level, this is actual Fermi level when there is no current in the semiconductor because it is insulating layer in, and there is no current in the insulating layer because it has got very high resistance. So when there is no current in the semiconductor the Fermi level will always remain flat. It will not change but there is bending of the conduction band, valence band and intrinsic Fermi level. So band, the level of bending in the Fermi level on the interface is known as surface potential. I repeat the bending of the energy level may be this, may be this, the, all these will be bending equally. The bending of the energy level that is maybe Fermi level conduction band or valence band on the interface between oxide and semiconductor is known as the surface potential. So now what is the possibility? Surface this, this may be bending downward and may be just touching at this point. When it is touching at this point, that is your uh, actual Fermi level, your gap between the conduction valence band and the Fermi level, intrinsic Fermi level, or you can say actual Fermi level, both are uh, coming at the same point, and gap between the Fermi level and the conduction band, both will be equal. So that is behaving like of just like intrinsic material. That is the condition of an intrinsic material. Fine. So till then when it is bending downward there is depletion in the region so when uh, your surface potential is between 0 and phi f why phi f because this fall this is how much difference difference between intrinsic level and actual fermi level is what q into phi f and the, what is the fall in the intrinsic fermi level from ei to this level that is again phi f so phi s is equal to phi f so when your surface potential phi s is from 0 to phi f the capacitor works in depletion mode this capacitor works in depletion mode another next important point when your fermi level intrinsic fermi level falls below the actual fermi level like this it means when you there is further increase of this voltage if this voltage is further increased your actual Fermi level on metal side will further fall like this. So this will bend more like this. Accordingly, the conduction band, intrinsic Fermi level and the valence band will shift more like this. So this fall, this fall in intrinsic level will be below the actual Fermi level at the interface. You can see this has fallen below this level. This from here to here it is surface potential. When intrinsic Fermi level falls below the actual Fermi level at the interface, your device enters into the inversion mode. What is the meaning of inversion mode? You can see when it falls below the actual Fermi level at the interface, you can see here it is falling below. So here this is uh, actual Fermi level, this is conduction band. So conduction band comes closer to the Fermi level as compared to the valence band. So that is known as inversion. Why? Because the con there will be concentration of electrons will be more as compared to the concentration of holes. So there will be accumulation of electrons. So that mode of operation is called inversion mode when concentration of electrons becomes more than the concentration of holes on the interface. That is known as inversion mode. So for phi s that is surface potential more than phi f it is inversion mode but what we assume when phi s is between phi f and 2 phi f that is known as weak inversion mode but now please see here q s was positive but now 
in depletion mode there were there are negative charges in this region and at point when phi s is zero the charge density reduces to zero phi s is zero means charge density reduces to, to zero means what when it is zero all the charges will be distributed equally and net charge is always zero in the depletion layer so when it is zero when it is short circuited when gate is short circuited with the piece of state all the charges in this region will be distributed equally and there will be uh, neutral overall semiconductor will be neutral so there will be zero charge but when you apply positive potential here there is uh, repel repelling of holes so there are negative bound charges in this region so here is negative this is with the region where you have negative bound charges and from inversion onward from when phi s surface potential becomes more than phi f when surface potential becomes more than phi f there is inversion of the nature why because your conduction band shifts more to closer to the fermi level as compared to the valence band so at the surface it will be inversion inversion means what the material will start behaving like like uh, negative uh, n-type because of accumulation of electrons here gathering of electrons here that comes out to be inversion mode so electrons start gathering from this point one order that is when surface potential is equal to phi f when surface potential is between phi f and 2 phi f phi f is what this difference between the intrinsic fermi level and actual fermi level when surface potential is from 0 to equal to this level it is depletion mode when surface potential becomes more than phi f but less than 2 phi f this is 2 phi f this level is again q into phi f below this point when surface potential varies from phi f to 2 phi f it is called weak inversion and when surface potential becomes more than 2 phi f when you increase the surface potential that is known as a strong inversion your device enters into the strong inversion means there will be large electron con concentration and that electron concentration becomes more than the concentration of holes in the piece of state that is known as strong inversion so but remember I am taking magnitude so this is positive charge here it is negative charge since it is mode so it is, I am taking it positive but if you take it on this side this could have been like this if you take the if you don't take mode of it but since we are taking mode so that is why I am taking it positive so that is how the, there will be distribution of the charge in the different modes of operation so the charge concentration will be high in strong inversion and accumulation charge concentration is low in case of weak inversion and depletion there are no electrons in the depletion region when there is uh, there are no electrons in depletion when your surface potential varies from 0 to phi s and at phi s equal to zero it is shorted so there is uniform distribution of the carriers there is no charge in the depletion layer so that is known as flat band condition that condition is not flat flat band means your all the bands near the boundary will be flat like this like this like this like this that is the condition known as flat band condition right so we will see it later but here what we have assumed the work function of battery is same as the work function of semiconductor that is what the assumption and that is how we have the charge distribution in the depletion region whatever I am saying I am talking about this Q as charge in the depletion region of the semiconductor or you can say substrate so that is how the concentration is going to vary just remember this there can be one mark question in gate exam and understanding from concept point of view of course you should know how the charge is distributed thank you very much for watching the video